Hey guys, Jerry with Control Pair Munitions with another Battle Box video. Alright guys, so we changed some stuff around the shop and if you notice the patch hole is directly behind me now. Um, move some stuff around, hopefully you're going to start coating soon. Um, as I move the stuff in, I got to hook up the electrical, do some other stuff and get all that stuff going. So, cool stuff there. Uh, I do have Mission 85 here. Battle box. And um, so this battle box does have some different stuff in it. Usually does, right? Every month. That's the cool part about the... Um, the subscription boxes. So, open her up and go for, see what's going inside. All right, so this is mission 85. And like usual, we're gonna get the briefing out and see what's going on in here. So, we're gonna start with the basic box like we usually do, uh, going on to the advanced box, pro box, and then the pro plus, which I usually get. So, in the basic box, the first thing we're gonna have is the Storm safety whistle. So <laughs> the storm safety whistle, uh, he did demo it in his video. I will put a link here somewhere. Uh, where he, uh, current 1776 uh, uh, did put that in his video. I'm not going to do that. We're indoors. And um, yeah, so uh, I am going to keep this as uh, something in my kit. And the reason being, if, if you're out hiking in the middle of nowhere and you need to be found by rescuers or or whoever um this is a good thing to to use as a signaler uh for that so um i do want to test this and i will definitely test this in a uh more open environment uh unlike this one <laughs> so well we will do that and it says that it will work in and on under and oh wait works in on and underwater well hopefully I hope works on water because you're above it if it works in it, maybe we'll have to do a video for that too. So um, hopefully you don't have to see me in a bathing suit because that's scary. But <laughs> anyway, uh, first thing is the storm whistle, which uh, it is made in the USA, which is really nice. Um, it does say that a couple times all over the box. So I do want to emphasize that. And uh, yeah, it says that it's used by scuba divers and stuff too. So kind of cool. So the Storm Safety Whistle, it is $6.50 on the Battle Box website. That was the first thing in the basic box. The next thing in the basic box is the Compact Provisions BP-5S. I need a, like a Vanna White or something. Because uh, these hands aren't sexy. So <laughs> anyway, unless it's Jonas. Jo Jonas actually says I have good hands. I don't know. I don't think he's actually looked at my hands. Or not. So uh, anyway, um, there's nine bars in here, um, and for each bar you get 265 calories. Um, so it's about like a day's worth. I think it says um, one box feeds one adult per day. It says it right there. And uh, I'm just going off of the basic calorie stuff in my head. The shelf life for this is five years. So this is a uh, a nice food storage to, to have in your kid, whatever, uh, have in your car, have in your truck. Uh, you get stuck in the middle of nowhere. At least you have something. Uh, he did eat some on his video. He's like, yeah, it doesn't taste that bad. Um, I am not going to eat it. Um, and <laughs> the, the only reason being is I want to keep it sealed. So, um, but there are nine individual bars that you could progressively use throughout the day. Uh, obviously, rash that out. If it is just you um, being stuck out in the middle of nowhere, uh, this on their website is 15 bucks, so 14.99 for that. So so far in the basic box, we're at like 21 bucks. So 20 bucks between two items. We'll put those guys over there. Boom, boom, boom. The next thing. So I want to say that was made in. If I remember, he said everything was made in the USA. Manufactured in Norway. 
not made in the USA. So, it was made by the Nordic people. The next thing uh, is, I know this one was made in Oregon, so this is made in the USA. This is the Harlow Road, Road Candle. So this guy, I want to smell it. Um, this guy is a um, insecticide-ish uh, candle. Whew, it is. Um, that is strong. Uh, not a bad strong, like it's good strong. Oh, that's kind of cool. It comes with sandpaper on the lid in case you need to use matches for it. So you throw this in your bag and you're like, I don't have anything to really wrap my match on. Use the, the lid of the candle thingy. So I'm gonna put this down before I stab myself. So <laughs> you have it on the, that's, that's pretty cool, man. Um, so on this guy, supposedly he was talking about you could uh, melt it, put it on your skin. Um, yeah, you can melt it and, and, uh, obviously don't do it with hot, but unless you're into that. I don't know if I could judge you or not. It's 2022. There's, there, I got a lot of new rules. So anyway, supposedly you can, uh, melt it and put it on you. It does got a little bit of oil on it. It is not toxic. Uh, it's all, uh, natural, uh, and then made in, in Oregon, which is kind of cool. Um, if you use this all, which you'll probably use this pretty quick. How long does this thing last? Does it show? It does not. Some of candles, uh, if you guys have ever bought any of the Citronella um, uh, candles, they usually tell you like how long they last. So, doesn't tell you. It's okay though. But it's all non-toxic, all, all, all pure uh, citronella stuff. So uh, when you do use it all, you can use this tin uh, for char cloth uh, and different things, which he does mention in his videos. Uh, so you could make more tender, use it as storage can if you need to, whatever. So it's, it's definitely pretty cool. And so that guy on their website is $16. So... 37 bucks ish so far basic box basic box the next thing which i'm kind of excited about i'm gonna be on it this is this part's cool so uh there's a couple things for my medic in here and this thing is for my medic it's called the my medic billy band bundle so these guys on their website is 25 dollars 80 and what these guys do is they go inside molly so where I could attach something to it. So these were designed, if I remember right, by a uh, yeah special forces team guy, who where he um, he designed this to go into his kit to hold tourniquets. Uh, you could hold use it to hold tourniquets. You could use it to hold knives if you had the appropriate size knife. Bad example. Uh, flashlights, um, chem lights. Um, you could use it to hold hold a whole bunch of different things. Uh, you could use those. Uh, gray matic uh, molly things if you wanted to use that uh, to, to mount this through in your guys' headrests, the one that head came with the battle box with the headrest, uh, or if you get those by yourself through gray matic or through battle box, uh, any type of molly gear, it, this little MyBetic kit, it comes with four of these things. So, and I plan on you know, using every single one of them in, in different apparatuses. So, I did put the gray matic thing in my truck and it has been working great. I am going to do a review on that one. It's actually holding one of my first aid kits and uh, a knife from BattleBox at the current moment. So these are going to also be implemented on there to hold other stuff, but I can't, can't wait to, to use these. So I'm going to put these back in the bag so I don't lose them. But these were, like I said, 2580. Definitely was excited about these. So but yeah, all in all, basic box. Um, I can't. I want to say the basic box like thirty-five bucks, but so between that one and the Harlow candle, you're over the basic box price. So let's see here. I was at what uh, twenty-one, thirty-seven. Let's just call it uh, what sixty-two-ish and change. So sixty-two-ish and change for the basic box. So that's pretty cool. Again, looking forward to this. The other stuff's definitely cool. Always going to use it. Um, but I was excited about this, uh, have been excited about this since I saw it. And uh, again, this is the new setup. I just did this today. I got this battle box last week. I've been wanting to do this video with no one or no role place to do it. So hopefully this works. Let me know in the comments. Um, if you like the setup, I did new patches. There's new patches all over the place. Um, I have to actually redo this whole thing eventually, but We'll get to that in another video or whatever. But let me know if you guys like the, the new layout. Um, 
if you guys have any type of ideas that I could use differently to make these videos better for you, definitely all that stuff's appreciated. So to the advanced box, this is another thing I was excited about because I like lights. I'm, I'm a little geek with this stuff. So um, this is the Lucy Pro Outdoor 2.0. So this guy right here, uh, put that knife away so I didn't hurt myself, but I need it. Kind of weird. So why would you do that? So we're back. GoPro overheated again. GoPro, seriously, update something. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, or I could just get a different camera. I don't know. Maybe that's what I needed to do. Um, I don't want to have like wind or something back here. Then you'd be like, <laughs> when I'm talking. Um, anyway, GoPro, seriously. I know you're not going to probably see this, but I should send you this video. Be like, really? So back to what I was talking about. Thanks, GoPro. The Lucy Pro Outdoor 2.0. So um, again, I'm a little geeked about lights. Um, so I do want to play this one. I do want to play with it. Um, so it is a rechargeable lantern that you can hang up. Also has a solar panel on it. Uh, it is a USB charge bank as well. Uh, so this thing does a lot of stuff, man. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, it is kind of stuck to itself. Uh, <laughs> it does have a little valve here that you just blow it up. Okay. Well, I guess I need to practice my blowing. Uh, don't, know, don't know how that worked. <laughs> so, never knew blowing. Blowing was that hard. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> anyway. This little guy <laughs> fills up. <laughs> oh, I'm not editing any of that out. So, <laughs> at least you get to see what, what happens. Um, well, I'm, me, if you've watched other videos, I guess you understand that too. So this guy right here, on their website, on the BattleBox website, it is $44.95. It's 75 lumens. Um, it lasts 24 hours on a charge. Recharges in seven hours. Uh, withstands 150 pounds of pressure, so like half of me. Uh, <laughs> it is it is lightweight. It says 4.4 ounces. It is pretty lightweight, and it says it's waterproof too. So you could probably have this on like a boat or canoe, or whatever. And it is sealed, so like the USB guy is it's got a little seal on there, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see. Let's turn this thing on here. Oh, it's got a brighter setting. Dude, you use it as a spotlight. <gasps> the flashers. And that was it. So uh, that is pretty cool, man. So yeah, for 45 bucks, you can have a cool little light like that. It does have uh, little tethers on here. Uh, so you can put it in different spots. It looks like you can make this handle longer if need be. So you can kind of let it hang or whatever. Put this inside your tent. Um, Ooh, you can check your how much battery has in it. So it has three powers right now. I don't know if you can see that. We have the little lightning bolt right there. It shows you the bars of life. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Again, excited about that one. So 45 bucks, you have a cool light. You have a little tether on the bottom too. So definitely like that. So that's the advanced box. So the advanced box and the other guy, uh, basic box, we're, uh, we're over hundred bucks so far. So pretty cool for just two boxes. Now another item in this box I'm excited about is the MyMedic Trauma First Aid Kit or TFAC. So I also brought our version as well that we sell at the store that we have on consignment. Uh, there's some differences for them as far as inside and outside. Uh, these, if you do get it from the uh, BattleBox uh, website, they have several different colors. So I got red. If you didn't notice, it's red. Um, if you're colorblind, it's red, uh, just to help you out. Ooh, that's kind of cute. It has a little uh, <laughs> medic thingy right there. Um, so it does have a little tear away, which I get to tear that guy off there, which has a little MyMedic patch, so I can add that to my patch wall. Um, I can also 
rip that off of the Molly kit that I have on. So one of the things that's bad about kits like this in your car um, is if you would have it in your car and you have it tethered to something or on a bag or whatever and you have it tethered to it, sometimes you have to take that item really fast because time matters. So the thing that they thought about with this, and it, it's pretty cool and it sets itself aside from other kits, is the fact that if I had this up, see on my Graymatic um, Molly kit, or even yeah, since I have a Rubicon, the, the Rubicon Molly kit or whatever, right? Or if you have it in your car. So I have this strap to my Molly. I need it right now. Um, something else happens, like the October 1st shooting that happened, you know, it was very tragic. Um, not having stuff like that on site with you or in a timely manner can hinder lives or hinder stuff. So um, having it to where I could go, just go to it real quick, rip that, rip that off, go to wherever I need to go. And then I can then fast deploy this and then use whatever is inside. So this guy, the contents on the inside of this guy, you have some gloves, which are always nice to have, okay. And uh, I have a little CPR shield. So CPR shield, it's even labeled CPR shield. I could have just read it, that would have made sense instead of looking at it, that's what that is. <laughs> so uh, super wash, so I'm gonna clean out some boobies. That's topical. So yeah, uh, wound wash and eye wash if you need to. So topical um, eye cleaner or water type style cleaner. Uh, rapid tourniquet, so this is a rat tourniquet. Um, I'm not a super big fan of rat tourniquets. A lot of people are. Um, they're not bad, especially if that's the only thing you have. So it's kind of nice that it has this. I mean, it comes with something, right? Um, but I'm not a big fan. Um, just personal preference. I know a lot of guys, again, are. I know a lot of guys aren't uh, due to certain things. Um, I, I prefer the cat style. Uh, main reason being for me that they're easier, more secure, give you wider area. And I think you could cause more harm with this one. If you're in a hurry and not properly trained, which not saying I am, I would I can always use more training for sure. So has one of those. Uh, does come with a uh, emergency pressure bandage. So this is the guy that um, you can just wrap it around your arm. It's like a giant. All right, so continuing on with the MyMedic TFAT kit. Um, the battery ran out of battery, so we were just talking about the uh, the bandage that's in here, the uh, the pressure bandage. This is one of those little fold up, roll around type things uh, you can put on. It does come with uh, instructions on the back for you. Um, but yeah, this is kind of cool to have inside your kit. Uh, you can put other stuff in here as well. There, there is room for other things, so you guys know. Everything's falling out. So it does come with also a little MyMedic permanent marker so you could mark your your guys's tourniquets and so on and so forth if you need to take notes on the person what time uh what happened name what uh, phone number anything that you can put on there any type of information forehead arm whatever it's nice to have especially if you know the person or whatever right uh it does come with some compressed gate or gauge I'm trying to rush through this so i don't run out of battery and stuff again so compressed gauze i'm gonna take my time it's it's not a responder compressed gauze so it does come with that as well um what else has got in here we got my medic space blanket so space blankets are also cool to have uh, also a good thing to have in your guys' survival kits and medical kits and it does come with some my medic shears so um we'll be putting those at a test as well um, see how they cut through like jeans and different stuff. So, uh, my Medic T Fat kit compared to our kit, um, our kit does come with similar items, um, but you can see it's a little different. It does come with a cat. Uh, this particular one has two cats in it, and uh, it's compressed gauge and nacelage. And uh, see the video uh, that we did on this uh, here. And uh, you can figure out all the stuff that's in here. So it is a little different. The one main difference uh, this one has compared to the other one is it doesn't have that quick detach Velcro function of the Molly. So it does have similar things minus the, this is a rat tourniquet, this is a cat's. Um, you can mix and match though. So I do like this bag more, but this TFAC, you know, it's not even that bad. Um, off the Battle Box website, not bad. 
82.50. I mean, we have that thing for 75 bucks. It does come with two cat, uh, cats though, uh, compared to this. So, you know, it's not bad to have multiple. Uh, I mean, shit, I have a couple of those. I have this one now. Uh, <laughs> I have a few. And again, you never can have enough. Uh, I try to carry one with me in my backpack since I never really need anywhere in my backpack. So, um, at this point, we're at what a hundred and almost ninety dollars, uh, give or take. Uh, with the total stuff for the pro box up to the pro box So now for the pro plus the pro plus the knife of the month is not a knife it is The wooks I wanted to say that wooks uh, Thunderbird axe signature edition so it does come with this nice little rather leather uh, rubber guy leather guy it does feel pretty damn sharp. Oh, uh, this is supposed to be if I remember right an Italian made um, it's made in the USA, uh, and Italy, I guess, uh, special design for competitive throwing. So it's supposed to have the, um, the shank and angle, the size of competitive throwing axes. So I could take this to some of those places here in town, uh, that have the, wah, the, the ax throwing things, uh, which is pretty fun. I did do that on my bachelor party and I want to go back. Um, now I can take this guy. Now, you can use this for a, a camp axe as well. He was demonstrating how you could definitely use that for that. Uh, it is nice and rugged. I do like the fact that they reinforced the handle onto the head of the, uh, the axe itself. Uh, on the Battle Box website, they did come with different colors. So this one, I mean, you can see it's orange. I kind of like that because I can't lose this, hopefully. Um, they have black, blue, orange, or purple. Wendy, purple. So uh, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I called you out. Purple. These are only uh, it's 80 bucks, dude. I mean, 80 bucks for this this axe. This is actually a really nice little axe. Um, definitely could fit on the side of your backpack, fit in the back of your truck, uh, underneath your seat or whatever. Take it in your camping bag, camping equipment. Uh, Uses a little, like I said, camp axe or whatever, and just throw this thing around, dude. It, it feels nice so definitely gonna have to do a video on this guy uh one throwing so you can see how much i suck and then um doing some other stuff with it actually putting it through some test um he did uh, on the video i, I put him i put the card up earlier uh he did throw it a bunch uh, you can definitely see where he missed and where he needs practice but at the same time he made a lot of shots and unless you do this professionally or do this a lot it is hard to do if you've never done it, um, unless you're a Boy Scout, which I found out when, at my bachelor party, one of my friends was a Boy Scout, and he's like, yeah, throw axes all the time. What the fuck? So, it was never a Scout, but I did, I did eat a brownie once. It was tasty. So, <laughs> with that being said, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, tune in for more stuff. Our podcasts are live and uncut here on YouTube. Thursdays at 7 p.m., uh, which we then do the audio version. It goes on to Google Podcast, iTunes, or Apple, whatever the hell it is. Um, it goes on to Spotify, uh, FM Radio, or iHeartRadio, FM Player, uh, pretty much all the, the main podcast stuff that you do listen to them. So I do take that audio, put it onto those, and it's up within a few hours. So if you do have those, um, definitely check those out. Last week was Christian. Uh, this week is Jonas that we're interviewing and talking about. So definitely don't want to miss that because if you've never met Jonas, uh, you're not going to want to miss that one. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas is a whole ball of fun. So, uh, I just called him fat, I think. Which he knows. I'm fat too. So, it's okay. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Check you guys next time.